ladies and gentlemen, today we are back with another mukbang. This time with noodles and cheese sauce and grated cheese on top. It is going to be delicious. We are so hungry and by we I mean myself and my neighbor. Mm -hmm. It's gonna help me out again. And we're going to be doing polls again just like we did last time. If you're new to this concept, I have a video where I kind of explain it to you. I'll link that down below for you as well. And if you enjoyed this video, I'll link the first one for you too. But we're gonna get eating. We are gonna use chopsticks and I have fancy metal chopsticks that my sister gave me a while ago. They make me very happy. We all unfortunately only have one pair, so the neighbor has a wooden pair. Yeah, I just have them snack. disposable ones. Oh yeah. Satisfying. There's the crack, even some nice wood dust. <laughs> And we're gonna dig in and do some polls. Don't judge the way I hold chopsticks. Are you gonna just scoop in? Do you think you can do that? I guess, yeah. Okay, you can try and do the... Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. I watched a mukbang video where the chick, she like puts it in, picks it up and then like twirls and picks up all the noodles in one gun. I'm like, how do you do that? I don't understand. But I'm just, I'm just gonna yeah, let's try. pick it up. It's nice and sticky. And then... Yeah, no, there's not any structure to that. Take a little bit more. So I don't have to come back. Oh, this is good. I'm and happy. One more for the road. <laughs> no. My cheese sauce is really coming through. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. So, are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'd say I'm more of an introvert. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do tend to be more on the quiet side. I am definitely the extrovert. I can't pick up noodles apparently. Oh, there we go. Are you then a party girl or a homebody? I'm gonna say we're both kind of homebodies, to be honest. Mm. But a party every now and then isn't that bad. Mm. But I definitely like stay at home and watch series and hang out with like a few close friends instead of a big party. I can do both, but I'm definitely inclined to agree with that. I'm gonna put salt on my side. I'm a salt junkie, and I'm aware. He's not. I also like mayonnaise a lot, and I have mayonnaise here to put on if I want to add some flavor. Are you an early bird or night owl? I'm kind of a little bit of both. When class is going on, I tend to be an early bird more than anything else. Same with me, with the class going, I wake up at six regardless. Okay, six isn't that early. Yeah, but I don't hate it. Yeah, no, you give up it's not four sticky noodles. Yeah, really sticky noodles. And I'm in the way. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Can these things just just go to the other side then? Jeez. But yeah, I'd much rather stay up late to finish something than get up early to do something. Which I guess makes me more night owl. Yeah. But also I work until late when I'm working. We finish at like two in the morning, so I'm definitely much more active at night. Oh there we go. Mm. That was a good one. I'm, I'm happy with that. Are you lazy or energetic? Probably more lazy. I'm not a super energetic person. My little sister is. She can bounce off the walls and then take a nap like a little kitten. But I'm probably more on the lazy side. Yeah. I have my energetic moments. Are you a chilled person or a worried person? I'd like to say chilled, but I'm probably more of a worry person. I think I am a lot more of a chill person, or I don't show my worry as much. Yeah, you don't. Are you more book smart or street smart? I'm probably more academic, but yeah. that's not to say that I don't have street smarts. I think my book smarts, I'll do my minimal street smarts. I wouldn't say I have minimal street smarts, I mean, I kind of... I know what you're doing. Traveled the world alone, you know, I think I survived. Yeah. Unless this is my ghost. Subtle bread. Mm -hmm. English or maths? Math, thank you. I agree. I enjoyed English, but... Yeah, nah. English can go. However, I do prefer writing research papers over doing calculations or figuring something out, which I guess makes me a scientific English person? <laughs> Still English. Yeah. I'm trying not to give the camera ASMR. <laughs> nice. Let's come from this side again and... Totally impede the camera. I'm very happy with my little bowl here. And the stickiness makes it easy to get in your mouth. It does, but at the same time, it's hard to pick up. Mm -hmm. 
Also, these noodles aren't the longest as it is. Yeah. But I think I overcooked them a bit, that's why they're so sticky. That is... We kind of just left them on the stove. A possibility, yes. We did kind of leave them for more than two minutes. Yes or no? Just because you often hang out with someone, it doesn't mean you're friends. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I often hang out with people on my pracs, before the prac, after the prac, between classes we run into each other, but I don't necessarily know their names. Mm. And then we're not friends. There's also different categories of friends, like class friends will hang out when we're in class together, but I'm not going to see you over the holiday. Exactly. Or keep in contact with you afterwards, which I don't think is a bad thing. It's okay. just surviving in that moment. I, I guess you could call it surviving in the moment. You both kind of agree. It's kind of only to keep us busy now. Yeah. Oh, that, that cheese. Oh, I want that cheese in my mouth. Thank you. 72% of people agree. Mm-hmm. Yes or no, Greta should be person of the year. What are the arguments against it? People were quite ooh, unhappy about it. I think they didn't like her because she came from a wealthy family. Mm -hmm. And thus she had the resources to do all of this. Um, but she still went about it as if she was some... Uh, Someone suffering. Yeah. But I don't know what she spoke about. But I don't know anything about her or any other reason surrounding it. Yeah. I think people were also saying that she was rude because she told, you know, grown-up people what to do. Kind she of thing. was direct and rude, but however, the argument is that was necessary. It to got get the point attention. across. Yeah, fifty-three percent of people think no, she shouldn't be. But this fifty-three percent of people, I want to know, like, what's the better suggestion of person of the year? Who did more? That's more noteworthy than Greta. I thought the vote already came through. I think she is person of the year, but yeah. people don't like it. Um, I'm gonna scoop some mayo into my bowl and then mix the noodles in the yeah. mayo in my bowl. Do that. So you can keep your mayo free existence. Yes, thank you. Let's get some more. While I do that, the next question is, yes or no, the World War Three memes are funny? I think they're kind of funny. Oh man, I'm enjoying them. Yeah, no. So much. Not even gonna lie. I'm liking them. I wonder what the morale or general opinion from the youth that would be, you know, drafted if it were to happen. How that is going to influence how the war is going to go down. Um. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't quite know. Ooh. Because the years before, yeah. the countries weren't as connected as we are now. They weren't united by dumb things like meme culture. Because imagine you're on the battlefield and the obstacle goes, guy throws something and goes, yeet. You'll be like, no. <laughs> Jeez, I'd break down. <laughs> exactly. So, I think the social climate around it's a lot different for the people that would actually be in battle. But like I was saying the other day, warfare is not the same as it used to be. <clears throat> as it was in the other two world wars where it was kind of just throwing people in front of the cannon. Mm. And the one with the majority of people kind of won. Nowadays it's more tactical mm. and, you know, whoever has the better soldiers and the better equipment and so on is the one that triumphs. It would be nice if we never have to find out how it's gonna go down. It would be but nice. But I yes. think it would be very different from the previous two wars. Definitely. Seventy four percent of people agree that the means are funny. I don't even know how it happened because we haven't really been watching the news news. Yeah I know. So like we just I wonder really know what Instagram says. Started seeing the memes pop up and like, oh this is interesting. Hmm. Do you like school? I like uni. It's a worthy challenge, if I could say that. Mm, it's a fun challenge because you can't do it yourself. It's not mm. a police system. Whereas school was just like, you have to do it. We don't even know why, just do it. Whether you. you like it or not, good mm. luck, you know? I didn't enjoy high school that much. I didn't hate it. I mean, I enjoyed my last year especially. And friends and all that jazz was nice. It's a different climate in terms of how you get to know people, how close you are. You don't really have to recess together to hang out with people the way you used to in high school. It was okay, but I definitely prefer uni. It was a relief to kind of get here. And once you're comfortable with all the work and get through everything I explained in my tea bath, it's a very fun experience. Yeah. Link to the tea bath in the description. <laughs> Look at you being a YouTuber. Yes or no? A lot of these polls are just people saying extreme stuff to be defined of what's popular. To be defiant? Yeah. 
Like, oh, World War Three memes are popular. Let me ask, they're not popular. No, I don't think so. I think it's just queries that people have. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're trying to cause an issue saying that it's not popular. I think the questions are relevant mm. more than anything else. And it just feels like, oh, yeah, you're talking about this because it's popular. But I wonder how many questions this account gets on a daily basis and then what they use to filter it through. I wonder if there's a bunch of questions they shelter us from. But on the other hand, I think they kind of go for a few with shock value, like we have had a few odd ones, and they kind of put out everything so it doesn't look like they're choosing a side. I'd like to talk to the person that runs this account. So, the hood muffin, hit me up. <laughs> Do you have a Lego Star Wars profile picture? What? No. That's oddly specific. But 8% of people win. I was like, for a second I was like, wait, do I? <laughs> no, baby, your profile picture's us. I know it is. But you never know, I'm into my Star Wars. You are into your Star Wars. And you're into your Darth Vader masks and... <laughs> I'm a nerd, what can I say? Does ketchup taste better cold or at room temperature? Interesting question. That was <laughs> rotten to my bowl. That reminds me of those uh, meme videos where it's like crack the egg into the bowl, full <laughs> of flour, well. and there's a person <laughs> at the bottom there. Let's not do that. But how do you prefer your ketchup? Actually, room temperature. Same. But the thing is, once you open a ketchup, it has to go into the fridge. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to go off. It's kind so of you good. never really get room temperature ketchup. I don't mind keeping the ketchup out of it and I'm gonna finish it quickly. But this person and a bowl of ketchup lasts like a year. Exactly. And it's gotta go in the fridge. Yeah. It's more at restaurants and fast food places that the ketchup stays out because it goes, goes so, so quickly. So it doesn't really matter. Maybe that's where you get the perception that the warm ketchup is better. It's more normal, yeah. Mm. You get it at places where you pay for food. Yeah. Do you think Instagram should do something about bots? Bots? I thought they dealt with the bots. I haven't had too many issues. It was kind of like a phase where it was added to these dumb share your pictures groups like every other day. But then it died down and it's been fine. So yeah. I remember like the bot scan too. It's like, if you want to have followers. Oh yeah, I report those every time one of them follows me. And they're always like, thank you for reporting. How do you know that it's a bot though? You, you can check the account. Any of these buy followers profiles is either a bot or a scam. It's, you cannot supposed I've, to do that. Yeah, I've got message requests from a whole bunch of like accounts where they've invited like 500 other people who I don't even know into this chat room and I check the account out and it's just, there's like one follower and, and one no post. posts or something like that. Yeah, and then what do they ask you on the group? <clears throat> they don't, I, I never go into the group, I decline it. Okay, okay. I like you so much. You got like after lunch minutes. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like lemon or something. Ah. We have five more bowls to go. Then I'll eat my candy. Okay. Hold up. So the next one is... You kind of just got cheese in that scoop there. Yes or no, do concerts suck? I've never been to one so I can't say. Small concerts are nice, big concerts are terrible. It's nice to see the person but it is a schlep. It's uncomfortable, there's people all over you, there's hands all over the place, and people step on you, it's hot. Yeah, I can imagine it being uncomfortable, but if it's for an artist that you're really into, I don't see um, why not. I mean, it would be a fun experience. It is a fun experience, but I wouldn't go to one every weekend. Yeah. Maybe like once a year. But it is worth it because these trained professionals, like I got to see Beyonce last year, it was a really good show. It was genuinely thought out, well performed, well and very entertaining. So to go for that last part that's at night is great. Going in the day, we kind of started at like 2 o'clock mm. and only finished at 11. That was way too long. It Are boneless good. or traditional wings better? I'd say traditional. I don't often eat wings. I don't remember the last time I had wings. So I can't really give an opinion. But I, if there's an ease in boneless wings. Yeah. You don't have to get so messy. Yeah. And I can see the appeal. I can see the appeal, but like half the fun is getting messy, so you know. It is okay to get married young, between the ages of like 18 and 22, yes or no? If you want to, I guess, but like... Is it ill-advised? Statistically, they don't tend to go too well. 
I don't know any statistics of young marriages, to be honest. It ends relatively soon because then it's sort of like once you're done like growing up you know? a honey yeah honeymoon phase is over and then you know reality kind of hits i think that's just as likely to happen regardless of your age you're not i was relationship that was going to be my next point was that statistically all marriages have a chance of failing no matter what age group you're in so i mean i guess i don't see anything wrong if you feel like that's what you want to do but that's not something i'm gonna do I mean, I guess I wouldn't be opposed if my life happened to work out that way that I'm set up in every way I want me to get married at like 21. However, I don't think I'm going to be in a managing position and like steady income and have a house and all that jazz by that age. Mm. So it kind of depends what your priority is. If that will work for you or not. I don't think it will work for me, but if it happens out that way, then it happens out that way. Yeah. I have friends that got married young and they're doing fine. Yeah, mm. exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. It's not... End of the world. Mm. Well, that is a clean tray. Yeah. I talk about something about both I'm eating. Agree or disagree that long-distance relationships never work? I think if, you, if you're willing to, you can make it work. I would not be keen. I would opt out. If there's no plan to actually, you know get back together at some point if it's like we're indefinitely going to be living in two different countries yeah then it's then there's kind of not much of a point but if it's like you know you're going on sailing for three months mm. you're gonna come back it's mm. fine I guess having someone like live a town over is also pretty hard but I guess it depends on the part of your life you're in if you can do something about that or not mm. you know 62% of people think they work or willing to give it a shot yeah I guess it, it depends on uh the circumstances, like you say, if the person's going to come back or if you're going to get together again after the fact, being apart, then it, it's worth it. But if it's just going to be indefinitely being apart, then there's not, it's, it's, it's unfair on both people. And the fact that I don't want to do it myself doesn't mean it wouldn't work for someone else. Mm. You think the World War Three is actually going to happen? I have no clue. That's very, you know. I think it's a premature question. Mm. I think world wars are gonna happen again at some point, so a third one will probably happen, but I'd like to not think that's happening tomorrow. Are you dead? Sophia got married! Oh yeah? Yeah! Okay, I'm happy. I wanna go see that. I don't know if that was a lot of food or not compared to last time, but we were hungry, so I'm not surprised we got done as quickly as we did. This was delicious and a lot of fun. So thank- You cannot speak with food in my- and then that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And then I'll see you again next time. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get your candy, get your candy, get your candy. What is this? These are sorbet candies. Yeah, it's, uh, sherbet. Sherbet. Not so wow, sorbet is a brand. <laughs> sorbet it is, is a sorbet. brand or an ice cream. I think it's because I did a sorbet mask this morning. Lime? What's yours? Uh, <laughs> same, I think. <laughs> Something to get full. Mm. 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 And it wasn't a lot of poles, so there was significantly less this time. Yeah, we kind of just dove right into the eating part.